Hello, my name is Tony Spruce and welcome back to another episode. You know, do you ever have the feeling your Minecraft world just wants to see you dead? I was doing a little bit of strip mining in between the episodes and I really got that feeling. First I found out that I'm in the territory for silverfish apparently, but don't worry I can handle silverfish. And did you ever find a lava lake encased by gravel? Yep, I found that and I was on the gravel side. Luckily I heard the lava, it's not particularly silent, but you know, one carelessly removed block and I could have been burned to a crisp once again. But nope, this time I did not die. Surprising, I know, I know, I know. And I was quite successful in finding two lots of diamonds and some are even still down there because I... Because, you know, I was thinking about maybe preserving the deep slate diamond ores, because in 1.17 they're fairly rare. And with the power of our zombie grinder, we actually got some really nice gear. We have two awesome pickaxes, fortune 3 and silk touch, a decent work axe and a, well, an acceptable sword. And even feather falling boots, which of course is great for builders like me, hence also the name. So... We're technically only missing a diamond shovel, which I know we had at one point, and a diamond hole. And I even have still two diamonds left, but I wanted to reserve them for another enchantment table. Because as you surely can imagine, running up and down in between my grinder and my enchantment setup got really old really quickly. But we won't do that right away, and rather head back to our animal barn we built last episode. Because I'm not entirely finished with that area. I mean it's looking all great. But I was thinking about adding some crop fields around here. Because you know the fields we have in front of our house, they are nice and all, but they are really not big enough. Especially with all the different crops there on Minecraft. I need a little bit more room and I quite enjoy the look of big fields of all the different crops all around. I know there isn't too much space here either, but still I think that would be a good start and look really nice. So let me quickly do this in a tiny time lapse. And now we are done. I've added a couple of crop fields around the barn for wheat, carrots, potatoes and beetroot. Of course they aren't very massive, but I think they add a nice pop of color to the area. The only thing really that's missing now is a scarecrow. And why not try to put one above that slab that hides the water source and see how it looks like. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit awkward to place. Afraid I have to do a little bit of damage to the reed field. But that's fine, we can fix it. Okay. Oh, oop. Now it's facing the right direction. And I thought about maybe levers for the arms. Yeah. I think that dude is kind of cute. I know it's not the right season for it. It's snowing pretty heavily here where I live. You know, the winter season is approaching. 
but in Minecraft that doesn't matter too much, does it? But since there are actually no crows in Minecraft, the scarecrow could scare away. Maybe it will scare the creepers away. Wouldn't that be awesome? I think that definitely has potential. If I were a creeper, I would be scared, right? But the crop fields aren't the only thing I've added. I've also put a little well down here, because I need an infinite water source while building the fields, of course. I have a little chain hanging down. And while you are not looking, I've also did some changes to the barn. So instead of having that one window in the middle, I widened that opening and have a little crane set up. So you could transport haystacks or other cargo up there for storage and put two little windows to the sides. Still the roof itself is only made of cobbled deep slate, but with a wide opening in the middle and the two additional windows, I think that looks kind of awesome and works out quite well. And now I've also added a little bit of an interior, not too much. But you know, the basics. I have the tiniest of a workstation here, few barrels and hay bales scattered around that are stored up here, a few lanterns and then the chain that goes back to a drum here. And from here we also have a nice overview over the whole area. I think it's kinda cute, isn't it? If you have any ideas what else we could put into here, why not leave them down in the comments and let me know about them. But otherwise, I think I'm fairly happy with it. The only thing we have to figure out, what to make with that path. Does it lead to somewhere? Where would it lead to? I don't know. But for now it's just a dead end. But if you thought all that farming and the scarecrow was out of season, behold of the main adventure of today. Cause I was planning a little seaside trip. As you can see there's a little ocean over there. And I was wondering if we might could find a shipwreck and get a hands on moss specifically. As this is a 1.17 world and I also have no intention of upgrading it to 1.18. Shipwrecks are the only source of moss. So we just have to go explore and maybe we also find other treasures. Who knows? Because the ocean isn't actually too far away, it's, well, pretty much an enderpearl throw away. I don't expect this journey to take too long, but we will take a compass with us this time, because you know, if you watched the series from the beginning, you know what happened last time I went off to adventure and explore. Wouldn't it be awesome if I could turn render distance up higher and don't have my potato struggling? Yeah, that would be awesome. But you know, you can have everything, I suppose. Okay, I get ready and then we're going on this exploration and hope we come back with a plethora of treasures. And kelp. We definitely need kelp. So, I think I've got everything I need. Now let's head out towards the ocean, shall we? There are probably tons of creepers lurking in the woods. Hi cow. Oh, and there are wolves so close by. Ooh. And it's hunting some... Don't you hunt the... That's horrible! What did just happen there? Do foxes hunt wolves? Uh, God. Do wolves hunt foxes? Is that a thing in Minecraft? Okay, there's a... There's a fox hunt fish. I'm telling you, it's a cold fight of survival here. Everybody is killing someone. Kelp that... spawned in a weird way, I see. Let me grab that. And that looks like a shipwreck to me, doesn't it? Let's see what we can find there. Little islands around, I like this place. It's looking pretty.
Okay. Oh. That's awesome. Oh dear, that's... That's not so awesome. Imagine if I just straight up drowned. I mean, I wouldn't be so... Oh, there's an axolotl. There's an axolotl and I have a water bucket. Yep. You are now... No? You are... You are now... <sighs> Wait a minute. Let's try this again. I have a water bucket and there was an axolotl somewhere. I really need a respiration helmet. Don't I? Okay, it just disappeared. Where are you, fella? It's going great so far, doesn't it? Okay, I seem to have lost that one. Huh. But it can't be that far, surely. Is the axolotl so important now? Well, probably not. Are we trying to hunt it down anyway? Absolutely. Oh god. That's not good. Oh, that was a tad too close for my taste. The objectives get more and more. Okay, where is it, dude? Everything disappears in the ocean. That's terrible. First the axolotl, now the trident guy. It's getting nighttime, which is also not too great. Okay, that will be quite an anticlimactic video. If just everything disappears on us. How are there now monsters nearby? Oh dear. Finally. It's gone all to plan. Doesn't it? Okay, maybe we should just go back to the shipwreck and see if there's another chest. Because I don't think I will find either the drowned nor the axolotl anymore, which is kind of a shame. But oh well. At least we have a door here. Which is fancy. Okay, a compass, a treasure map. But nope, no moss on this one. Oh! There's a mesa desert, or badlands, how they're called now. Pretty close to spawn, that's awesome! Never had that biome so close. Okay, that's great. Now we have really easy access to gold. Which means really easy piglin bartering, golden carrots. So we definitely have to set up a outpost here or something like that. But it's not today's task, not today's objective. Oh, there is a shipwreck. A buff sea. But once again, it's the back of it, so... I don't think moss can spawn in these two chests. So I would probably guess there's once again no moss in that one. But I mean, I won't complain about that, for sure. The question is, is there another chest somewhere? Oh yes. Well, maybe not. Okay, that's... Okay, it may, might be even a complete shipwreck, I don't know, but... There's a lot just buried underneath the sand. Huh. Let's see. Okay, that's a tip. 
so if there was another chest, it would be down here, wouldn't it be? But that doesn't s seem to be too much. That seems to be cut off. Or is it? No, there is another chest. And we have moss! Oh, and good leather boots. And bamboo. So we can make scaffolding. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, I I'm excited. I don't know if you can tell, but I am excited. That is probably one of the most hidden ship treasures I've ever found. But I'm not mad about it. Not one bit. But that would mean that there's probably also a third chest somewhere. It would be... Yes, it is. Oh, and a clock. That's also kind of handy. Didn't have one of these before. I really make a mess out of that shipwreck, don't I? Maybe have to do something out of it eventually. I don't know. I build a museum around it. With that, our adventure goal is actually already successfully done. But I would want to take everything else. And I also won't forget about this chest. I will definitely come back here. But since we found these treasure maps, you know, we could go a step further with our treasure hunt and see if we can find at least one of them. So the question is, where does that map lead to? I think the dot is getting big. Yes, it's loading in. Okay. So it's back again to base, which I'm not mad about. Oh, then that's really close, actually. That's interesting. Okay, it's on one of these small islands, I see. Here. Or not an island at all. Okay, let, let, let's make a door, shall we? I think a door would be the only reasonable thing to do right here. Because I'm not interested in drowning right away. Okay, what? Okay, it's afternoon. That's alright. There's an interestingly placed stone brick. Is that a hint? Oh, <laughs> it definitely... It literally was to hide the chest. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that was a Minecraft. I've never seen a treasure chest hidden so badly. Yeah, that... well done. Well done. Okay, that was... no problem at all. So with all that accomplished, I would say we grab a little bit more kelp and then we head back home and sort of stuff. Right? I think that would be the right thing to do. Isn't that great? When all the kelp is floating above the water and you can just pick it up like that. I think that's awesome. And now since we have kelp, I think it would actually be time that we start to think about automated farms. Because that is a great fuel. And you know, if you have an automated farm, a constant source and we only have to go mining for coal to make torches and lanterns and that stuff. So that would be really useful for us. Oh, you can just barely see the tower from here. Is it crazy if I say I want to go back to the other shipwreck and see 
if we can get another axolotl maybe to spawn. I think that's not crazy, or is it? I think that could be worth a try. Right? Because I'm pretty sure there was a underwater ravine close to it. That's where the axolotl probably spawned in the first place. So we might get another one to spawn. Hopefully no more trident guys, because these do worry me a bit. Okay, where's the crack in the ground? I don't actually see it. There's something. Oh, I don't have my doors at hand. That's not good. Why have I left my doors behind? That makes no sense whatsoever. Okay. Set a... Seriously, I've also left my wood behind. I'm a professional. If you ever had doubts about that one, here's a confirmation. I'm a professional. Okay, it's afternoon. There's my spawn. And I'm blind. Oh, more ripstone. But not too much around otherwise. Okay, that's the entrance into a regular cave. Oh, that will hurt. Where is light? Ah, oh, glow lichen, okay. Oh. Yeah, I forgot to breathe. That's the thing also elves have to do sometimes. But didn't I see a ravine somewhere around here? Because these are all just waterlogged caves. Okay, that's a pit of death. Maybe we'll find something in here. Oh, sure. There's a brown one. And I need a door. Some glowing. Okay, there's a baby brown one and a pink one. I think the one I have at home already is a pink one. Dude, don't push me out. So I will leave these two here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Swim upwards. Oh. That was a bit close, wasn't it? But yes, we have found an underwater ravine. Quite big one. There were more axolotls around here. Okay, that's another pink one. Yeah, I should be a bit more careful about that. Add a trident drown to that mix and I'm dead. Okay, glow squid. I mean, I won't find a bit more ink. That's not the way to do it, is it? Oh dear. Oh, that one ha dude has a trident, doesn't he? Okay. Actually, don't think I want to fight it. Nope. Not like that. Okay, and now I'm a wimp here, but these tridents do a tons of damage. And I have only iron armor. No underwater breathing or anything like that. So it's just a bit too risky. 
Or I can take on that one for sure. If I don't drown at least, then I could join him. I need better enchantments for that. It's just crazy how quickly your air depletes. You can barely make her get a hit on some and then... Oh, they come up once. That's good. I'm telling you, the knockback. Underwater, it's really terrible. Okay, I don't see any more axolotls down there. That probably means it's time to leave this place then. Because I did not come here just to fight drowns. That's not one of my hobbies, you know? Okay, I'm out. I'm out of here. Yeah, I can leave that behind for now. And I'll grab it maybe in between the episodes or something like that. Or I will just forget about it. Oh, the fox is still having its lunch, I see. Or maybe it's just hiding from the wolves. Who knows? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Don't you hunt the fox. You think he understood that? I don't think either. So, let's see. We found moss, which will be the key for many awesome decorational items. We found bamboo, which is the key for scaffolding. So that's pretty great for building. We have cup, which is a good fuel source. We of course find Diamonds, lapis, iron, emeralds, a heart of the sea, which will be awesome as soon as we have nautilus shells, mending nether boots, which will be, as long as I don't have mending on my usual armor, maybe my, you know, being home jumping around kind of armor where I don't need really good protection and don't want to waste the good stuff. We have the suspicious too. We met the local stone at the ocean floor. Unfortunately, they were a little bit rude and threw pitchforks at us, but after all that, we also found a new friend. A brown axolotl to go together with our pink one. Of course, I have now only think about a place to put them. But with that, I'm afraid we're at the end of today's episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our little adventure to the ocean and hunting for all the beautiful treasure, getting a new friend, and we will see what we can do with our two axolotls now, build maybe a little aquarium or something like that, as well as find some use for the newly acquired moss and the other blocks we can get now. So there's lots more to be done. But next episode, we will finally get in the mood for the holiday season. What about that? I have a couple of plans what I want to do. So my plan is to dedicate the next two episodes for that and I would love if you join me on that adventure once again. Thank you all so much for watching everybody and for your ongoing support on the series and my channel in general. And I hope to catch you next episode where we continue with this world, our adventures, our explorations and our builds. Take good care and have a good time. See ya! Bye!